I started getting fevers uh, that would last up to two days at a time, 102 degrees, uh, and I felt like vomiting. I thought I had pneumonia. I was at work and I started feeling sick, like I had a bad cold, and I had a fever, so they sent me home. I tripped over an ornament in their yard and fell on my face. And uh, I felt kind of strange after that. And then I started, about a week later, I started spitting up blood. I let that go on for about a week or so before I went to see my doctor. He sent me for a chest x-ray, and uh, that's when they found the nodules. And then I had a CT scan done at the Reedsley Hospital the very next day. And uh, he said, I would prefer you go to the nodules, and community nodules. And, and uh, I took his word for it, and I went. They did a biopsy, uh, and they found a uh, adenocarcinoma in the middle lobe about a centimeter and a half, two centimeters, and they found a uh, squamous cell in the upper lobe. Two different cancers, that's very rare. I'm going next week to have fiducials placed for the uh, cyber knife treatment of the second tumor, the, uh, the tumor in my upper lobe. That was amazing technology. It's, it's amazing, I mean the thing would breathe with me. I would breathe and my chest would rise a little bit and the fiber knife would rise a little bit and everything just went right along, you know. It's a comprehensive program and it just takes care of everything. You, know, you just go and see Dr. Peterson and uh, he tells you what you have and how serious it is. And, uh, Kathy gets assigned to you. She calls you uh, every few days. Uh, and uh, everything takes off and just rolls, you know, from the time you go in. They found a nodule on my airway and got me right in. By the next week, I was in here at the lung nodule, and they just, like, welcomed me, you know, immediately. And I was kind of, like, overwhelmed with all of how friendly they were. And they got a biopsy within the next week after they found out it was cancer. They just took really good care of me, got me into Dr. Daniels right away, and uh, she took great care of me. The nurses were great here um, and friendly. And like Kathy, she goes, here's my cell phone number. If you need to talk, call me. We're just pleased that they were able to, it was stage one, so we were very pleased that we caught it early. I went to my doctor, had a bad cough and fever, and uh, they took an x-ray and called me and said, yeah, there's something there, I'm going to put you on antibiotics. And um, then about three or four days later, I got a call from the lung nodule program. From then, it was very quick. Anything said did CT, and they said, oh, there's something else there. Uh, and they scheduled me for a biopsy uh, at Community Regional, so I had that here, and that was biopsied. And then just a couple days after that, I was back at the, at the program and they said, here's what we found and here's what the biopsy results are. And so here's what our plan is. And the surgery, uh, based on what they found from the biopsy, there was no need for chemo and radiation. Very little pain and that was very well managed. Um, I saw my doctors every day. They'd come in and see me. And any questions you have, they would answer in a hurry. There was never any any doubt what's going on. You can ask anything you need to ask and um, you can answer right away. You can call, somebody's always answering the phone. They're very well aware of what you're going through and so they make sure you don't have time for that anxiety to build up. Um, everything happens very quickly. So again, you're not having that long span of time where you don't hear anything, you don't know anything. Thoughts can de develop and panic sets in and anxiety. They don't give you that chance. Both my doctors, Dr. Peterson and Dr. Van Gundy, just sit down with you. Um, they'll take your hand if, if you need them to and just, how are you doing today? What's going on with you? Talk to us about how you feel and what we can do for you. They take a lot of time with the patients there just to make them feel, feel a lot better. I went to my doctor and said, okay, what's happening? 
And that's when they started all the testing and stuff. If I hadn't fallen down, I'd probably never known it. In my right lung, they found a spot about a, about an inch, I think it was two centimeters. Yeah, and uh, then they did a PET scan and found it in my esophagus and also my other lung. My primary care referred me to, you know, the program. I've been doing radiation five days a week and chemo once a week. Well, I haven't had any problem with it at all. Not a bit. In fact, I fall asleep on the table sometimes. <laughs> it goes real fast, too. Everybody's been really great, very understanding and friendly, and you can joke and kid around with them, and that's what I do. So, but they're, they're really wonderful. They really are. You are where you are, and you do your best with it, and uh, I'm going to go down fighting no matter what. You know, I always have. Get your family involved, um, and don't panic. They're going to tell you, here's what's going to happen. Um, here's what kind of cancer it is. Here's what we're going to do to treat it. I'd highly recommend the, the program to anybody. We're going to conquer it. That's what Kathy was telling me. We will conquer it. Not you will conquer it. We will conquer it. You know, we will get through this together. Mm -hmm.